they'll be calling you a radical. I want to talk about Barrett Brown. I want to talk about uh, the incredible wills of injustice. I mean, it's disgrace. It's disgusting. We'll get into this. Alpha. I'll post this link at the, right at the top of uh, Barrett Brown's incredible interview. What a, oh my God, this guy is a genius. You know, not only that, think about the field trip. He is his own words that he's been on the last four years. What a gem this guy is. Now what? I'm going to talk, now I'm going to get into the Reagan case. And I'm going to talk about the all the lies of Fukushima, the propaganda machine, how I can see, and as Barrett Brown's own words, we're moving in nuance. We're moving in nuance. So when I was between 2000 and about two, three, and 2010, most of my life and my activism was all in Brooklyn, Williamsburg. That's where I was going. That's, you know, we worked so hard at NYU at, well, Washington Square to create, because I knew that's where mo real movements are born. I know that's where they're all born. You know, where you go back to Stonewall, you go back to Alexander Hamilton, abolitionists, all of it, every bit of it. It always starts there, you know, Hamilton's place. So... We were working hard on it. We knew the social... I was a peace activist. I still am a peace activist. That's the only reason that rat scumbag who should get an Oscar for the... I mean, one of the greatest actors. Barack Obama starring as someone who gives a fuck. Head to Hollywood, you piece of shit. You know? So, we were there trying to get our social... Because you know that's what my gig is all about. You know, until Fukushima happened. You know, the anti nuclearists which is the top of the pyramid is social inequality you know it's outrageous it's just i mean it's the top of the pyramid more than ever in history so you know that's what bear brown was that's where aaron swartz was there was a power that it was still rough and organic in williamsburg is anybody who knows the art movement my whole life you know up and on there what i mean how good that was keyword was it's like anything else, because there's no place in the country for anybody to get a job on over, so they just, they've all rushed there. Do you blame them? Same with San Francisco, same with San Diego, thus the young wolves, no one can live there, because rents went, whoa, that's what a 0% interest rate does, and ran for all these years. So, anyway, so Barrett Brown just simply moved to Link. Now, I have the situation, the transcript of the situation, but I know, like he says, they just make it up as they go. They got so many laws, they just make one fit, just plug it in. Freaking move a link. I mean, it's it's beyond outrageous. You know, he's out now. Thank God. You know, the whole million mass march anonymous is rooted is rooted around him. I mean, he, you know, Reddit sure the fuck don't get it. And Aaron Swartz. You know, we worked so hard. You know, that so-called Occupy was born out. And all these people say, oh, every time there's a left movement, oh, Soros paid him on. That's a lot of people on his payroll. Oh, every time there's a right, oh, the Koch brothers paid for it. Fuck, they just sit back and let Fox News fucking do that. It's such bullshit. It's like, you know, some of these actors saying, oh, that's who started Occupy. That's a... I started on both. You know, it got co-opted, of course, along the way, but Occupy was a powerful fucking movement. Do not kid yourself. What they did to us fucking... You know, I got cancer right there as it was blown, remember? <laughs> what a cool coincidence. You know, million mass march. But anonymous per se, the young, brilliant geniuses, I mean, Aaron Swartz was that way too. I mean, Barack Obama was going to give Aaron Swartz 35 years. Barack Obama put Barrett Brown in a prison cell, as he calls it, put him in the hole. He was in the hole for a lot of it. He says in his own words, for well over four years for forwarding a link that he never opened. Now you think about that. You know, he killed freaking Aaron Swartz. He put Megan Rice, an 85-year-old nun, in for life. And Fred and Michael for just simply walking into YK and sprinkling peace activists. You know, remember he voted against both wars. Hillary voted for both wars. I was a peace activist. You know, he fooled us. We thought he, he, he fooled the Nobel people. Gave him a Nobel Prize. He fooled everyone. This guy's a fucking scumbag. You know, this guy, he did more damage. And all you people that say, oh, no, no, no. Okay, you fucking liberals and you Democrats and fucking, you know. Martin Luther King took a bullet, so, you know, for gay marriage. No, he didn't. You know, and I'm all for gay marriage. Do not get me wrong. On the right, same thing, you know, fucking. These people fucking do all this hard fucking dirty work for what? A bunch of people fucking regurgitating an old tired fucking woman hatred fucking movement. You know, 1916, same old thing. It's outrageous. 
y'all. There's a lot of fire out there right now. We need to capture it. A lot of fucking strength. Good strength. You need to wake the fuck up. Barack Obama lost you 11 Senate seats. 11. He lost you 70-something congressional seats. He sold more guns than any all the presidents combined. He droned more fucking babies. You know, and people can fucking say, and I don't like Greenwald because of his fucking cower down on fucking Snowden. On the, I mean, everybody's participating in the cover-up of Fukushima, including Greenwald. But, you know, this whole thing that, you know, using this little girl for a fucking human shield is bullshit. You know, Barack Obama was a baby killer. Fucking, he droned the fuck out of babies, Barack Obama. He used to fucking, he's a sick fuckhead. Not to mention the guy who killed the The cover-up of Fukushima's the greatest event in human. One day you'll wake up, you know. So, you know, we spent all that time in Brooklyn when it was organic. That's really the root that all that good came out of, which you call anonymous. I don't even, you know. I don't know what to call it. I, we, you know, we came up with the million mass march, which is really, I mean, it's changed, it's evolved. That's the way things do, movements. But my gig's called Post Ignorance. It was then. You know, Barrett, Rick, and all these guys know that, you know, clear back then. You know, Post Ignorance, because ignorance is the fucking death sentence. That's what's killing us, you know. And they've got the ignorant motivated, you know, be through hot, that Operation Foxconn, you know, May Brussels. Again, I love her fucking life from 19 in Carmel by the sea. I spent a lot of time in Carmel, by the way. You saw my thing up in Carmel Valley. If the Czars had network television, the Czars would still be in power. 1980, May Brussels. Kevin Blanche, the Czars have network television. They're back in power. Operation Foxconn CNN has done a number. You know, there's no investigative journalists. So Standing Rock, there's some good investigative journalists out there. I mean, this interview with uh, Barrett's spectacular. He, wow. Boy, has he evolved while he was in jail. He was fucking brilliant before. You know, we fought. You heard my speeches every single year. I'd kick off the you know, Million Mass March in D.C. in my speech, and that's an incredible group of people. We have far right, far left. We have very, that's the only movement on earth where those people are together and eat together, have drinks together, love together. I mean, I know far radical rights, far left that have made babies out of that. For real. I mean, we the first speech I always say, this... Never forget, you can look up, there's interviews. I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them in there. And you can look every one of them. Do never forget, this freaking movement is rooted in Aaron Swartz and Barrett Brown. I say that because they really were the ones that paid the price. I mean, Barack Obama put Megan Rice in a fucking prison cell that was built to hold the will, this ties into the Reagan case, for the wills of injustice, for... So we go to back to Washington Square. I did my march. We walked to Hamilton's grave. I'm the guy that got Hamilton. Without me, Hamilton's grave never gets restored. You know? But anyway, we're there. We're doing our gig rooted because Megan Rice's father's classroom was right there. You know? And Washington Square again. So we're having congressional hearings. I've been working with Bob Boxer's office. Freaking, she's going after. She's head of the committee, and she ain't fucking around. She was a wolf on freaking... Fukushima at first, and they made her stand down, made her resign. I mean, that's how powerful they are. So, you know, we're working for the congressional hearings, getting ready to go in the fall of 2013. You know, and so all of a sudden they get pushed under their bullshit court. You know, fuck what a fucking joke. And everybody just, SS goes along. All these SS players go along. You think you're on the winning team. You know, whether it be police or whatever. People are that fucking simple Simon fucks. And so... He puts her in, won't let her out. They got the best attorney. She's, I mean, no, I'm the only one there, Knox. I'm the only fucking journalist. I'm the only activist there. So they put her in, and I'm full of leukemia at the time, by the way, fucking in critical condition. All through Oak Ridge, Tennessee, fucking there, protesting out at Oak Ridge, Tennessee, fucking all over. What's that? Y12, Y25, right where Megan Rose went. And Greg and Michael went to the Peace House. I was at the Peace House in D.C. You know, with the Peace Vigil, I walked over there, went to church with. They came out of the Dorothy Day house at Greg and Michael there. So I'm there. And so he, of course, they find her guilty. This fucking, I mean, they could find 12 jurors, find fucking anybody. Oh, oh boogie my boogie my chair. So yeah, she's an 85 year old. Nun. Nobody else on earth would ever charge her. Famous nun. Famous peace activist. 85 year old nun. So they throw, throw her in. They won't let her out on bail waiting sentencing. She waits sentencing in a holding facility for fucking three years, over three years. And if holding facilities are set up to hold people for less than 
Three weeks. For three and a half. They had turned down the heat into the 60s. This is an 85-year-old. She got sick in there. No care. I went. I I was the first one that uncovered when she got finally moved to the detention center in Brooklyn on Atlantic Avenue. La, 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 fucking 7th Avenue. Fucking the climate marks 450,000 people. They wouldn't report that under their fucking nose. I'm there. They, I mean, go through the proper channels, everything. Won't let me in. She gets ready to do a fucking interview, fucking with, uh, I think it was BBC, fucking at Knoxville right there, right last minute. Again, Homeland Security, like they always are. Fucking, because they've captured all these agents. I like Barrett's interview when he says, well, because, you know, they charged me with identity theft, but I didn't have a government. Credit cards are not, you know, and I just moved the link. I didn't open it. And I didn't, they're not issued by the government. And then he says, yet. Yeah. You know, he's on it. Oh, boy, is he on it. Just like John Swartz, they fear guys like that. They fear people like that, so they put them away. Obama did. Obama was a scumbag. Fucking repress. I mean, you guys can grandstand all the fuck you want. This guy betrayed the fuck out of you. This is the best fucking team puppet. Remember, he said, don't sue the, I mean, pass fucking unanimously in fucking Congress. Almost, you know, I mean, Harry Rat Reed fucking backed out, and fucking Kane never showed up to fucking vote. Hillary's puppets, you know? So, and by the way, you got a fucking, uh, a hardcore reality fucking president in the fucking White House, and I can tell you, well, what do you think? You anointed fucking what? By monarchy fucking bloodline? Hillary headed the DNC fucking, you just said those people ought to be in jail. Fucking what's her name? Fucking the one with has the eyeballs about this far apart down there in Florida. That fucking, God, she's as creepy as they talk about the anti-fucking porn. She's disturbing. That's the disturbingest female in history. I mean, really disturbing. So, Reagan. How is this even possible? So the Reagan case, USS Reagan, now remember, this is what's happened since the case was filed. Since the case was filed, I got cancer, of course, right about then. I got leukemia. Give it two months to live. Go through the entire treatment process, thing, which is nearly impossible. To be declared fucking better takes five years. I've been declared better. My two little grandsons, who were born after the trial was saying, are both halfway through their first year of school. I've had conversations with two people that were born that day. You know, you say, oh, they're that little. They're almost six. <laughs> you know, full body, this is the scam. So, and, you know, and let's get rid of, okay, this case has been filed in the night and was ruled to go forward years ago, many years ago. On August 25th, 2013 was when she ruled it, it opened up to G in Jan says, okay, it's gone. Set the date. That's after the delay, after the delay, after the delay, after the delay. How's that possible? Getting out lawyer? I mean, the wheels of injustice. So they have an appeal. So now remember, the appeal was heard on August 25th, 2013, after an appeal of the ruling that she says it goes for. So they appeal the ruling. This is the appeal. We win the appeal. August 2013. Excuse me, 14. August 24th. This is the appeal, not the case. So they appeal the appeal. How's that even possible? So it's in Pasadena and the appeal bill. September 1st. They, buy, they have to rule within 90 days. 120th, they get an extension. They wait. Now get this. Tepco G waits till two days ago, three days ago. Now, here we go. The appeal of the appeal of the appeal. We have the appeal of the appeal of the appeal. That's impossible. That not only is that fucking non-due process unconstitutional. Look, read the Constitution. Everybody, Johnny got his gun, second amendment. What about the fourth, fifth, sixth, fucking seventh, eighth, fucking, you know, California pocket? That's illegal. It's illegal as fuck. How can you let them wait and that pill? And then the judges say, okay, what the fuck? Because what they're doing, they're waiting till they're all dead, which they're dying fast. You know, I talked to Danielle's father. He didn't even know about the U.S. He found me. That's the power of social media. Found a post I had on Facebook, called me. This guy ain't fucking around. He don't fuck around. That fucking ship's hotter than fuck. That's their own words. I was there at the scrub down. I was in San Diego, full of critical, the only person holding up my side say, when they had the scrub down going on it, fuck, when they opened it up in their propaganda, they had a Little League sleepover camp. These kids that were on there don't even know. The San Diego Chargers, Charger, Charger, the Walmart Chargers, fucking practiced on it. This is, this is 2,155 fucking days. Now, I want you, okay, if you, because what? Corporations are a person, right? GE's a person. Tepco's a fucking person. Now, you as a fucking per Barack Obama, that ain't a person. That's a monster. Fucking Donald Trump, that ain't no fucking person. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Fucking George Bush, them are monsters. They're fucking evil, sick bastards. Disturbing. I mean, 
we as the grassroots have to do this. We have to sway this. I mean, this activism, do not get... I remember I did an interview because, you know, I was a lonely activist out there for a long, long fucking time. Right? Only person that way. You tell people you're activists, they laugh at you. Just five years ago is what... You know, I've been an activist my whole life. But when I think... And so... In Europe, I did an interview that week. You know, I used to do hundreds and hundreds of interviews. And a few days later, I did one in California. And they both asked me the exact same question. They both said, ah, you're an activist. Well, that's kind of an old-fashioned occupation. That's kind of an old-fashioned. Yeah. <laughs> old-fashioned. That's how I look. It ain't, uh, because everybody claims they're an activist now. But, you know, you active, active, you have to do the work. So, you know. Protesting at the Reagan case down there is tough because the they hate us. I mean, I think I've been attacked all my activism harder there than anywhere. Guns in my face. My car, why should I? You know, I'm walked the entire coast of California. I walked all the way, all of it, in four chunks. Document. I've watched it there. The greatest crime in human history is cover up of Fukushima. Far enough. And tell people wrap their mind around the tip of this is all Fukushima. So we're leading up for the 200th anniversary, or excuse me, the 100th anniversary of the shirt waist which changed the world, which is the chemical balloon at NYU. I do that event there every year after years and years and years. And so, you know, we're talking about that. So let's go. We know the young hackers are ahead of the curve. You know, so we're leading up, we're leading up, we're meeting, we're doing lots of work. You know, we meet in that old candy store that the beautiful girls are living in in fucking Williamsburg, you know, so many of us. And we got a fucking powerful fucking group. You know, we want the country to change. We want things to get better we, for our children, for our thing. We're doing all the things for the right reasons. Really the right reasons. You know, like Samuel Adams, like Alma, we want to throw the royal family the fuck out of here, like they did. You know, they were craftsmen. I'm a craftsman. Hawk and trial, I'm a craftsman. You know, and so two weeks before something happened on the way to that place. Fukushima happened. I want Fukushima fucking mad. These are the wills of injustice. This is how corrupt this country is. The framework, fucking the courts, fucking whatever. It's the it's the people, the fucking people. They're fucking indoctrinated. They fucking they're full of fucking hate. They're full of ignorance. Thus, I mean, I'm telling you, you can say whatever you want. This revolution is always has been. I tried telling people that then. It's called post ignorance. The post ignorance revolution. That's what this revolution. And tell that the tell this revolution turns into the post ignorance. We will never win. When it does, and you fucking finally accept that this revolution is the post-ignorance revolution, we have the internet, we have the fucking, you know, media, we have techies, we have people that are willing to fucking fight, we have people that are become more educated every fucking day, but they just throw the bullshit out there. God gays guns, beer fucking pizza gay, fuck, I mean, they just shiny ball you out into fucking La La Ville with everything, you know, just like, for instance, uh, the shiny ball on fucking, uh, Standing Rock was Berkeley. The only reason they're protesting at Berkeley right now, I mean, I fucking... Spent a lot of my life fucking Berkeley. We get, that's me and the San Francisco U fucking literature dean there protesting and fucking Berkeley professor right there, you know, post Fukushima, kick, you know, kicked off the cameras. There's, I mean, it's, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to Berkeley it's a state institution. There's no fucking grassroots fucking, you know, when I was fucking back there in the fucking day, I mean, 10 days ago, they captured academia in a big way. To graduate there's going to cost you a half a million dollars. So there's no grassrooters there. They're all fucking foreign students, by the way. Most of the same with our school, all Japanese. You know, it's, so they're protesting. They organize that through the, you know, Janet, she's got cancer. You know, look who the chancellor is. Look who the dean is. <laughs> you don't think they're captured? They're protesting because they're talking about cutting off their federal funds, which their federal funds should be cut off because they're fucking not a fucking state fucking, I mean, it's outrageous. All the fucking academia fucking... And these private institutions, I like to try to privatize We have, I mean, for instance, the little school, the old ancient school poke here at fucking Ogden, my grandson goes to. They're the lowest funded fucking public school, I think, anywhere. You should see holes in them. Yet they'll build right down the road, they'll spend $5 million on an Astro Turf on a football field. It's a fucking joke. You know what kind of scores they have? Their skies are so skyrocket high. It's not about money. They have fantastic teachers. And that beautiful old building. They have a good energy there. They have an incredible multi-diverse populace of students. Hispanic, African descent, European descent, you know, but we're all natives, you know. We're all natives. All born here. All these kids born here and fucking 
It's about people. You know, until you realize that, this revolution's about people. And I want to say thank you to Barrett Brown. He's a fucking gem, man. He's a fucking, he's a force to be reckoned with, I'll tell you that. He is a fucking genius, so far ahead of his fucking life. And now he's had that incredible experience being in that prison system. And, you know, I will quote my friend, my close, beautiful friend, they did the same thing to him, Tim DeChristopher, here. <laughs> I mean, what they did to him is beyond that fucking outrageous. Gives you shit. What about when he, I think he did an interview on Leno. I think it was Leno or fucking one of those fucking rats. Maybe it was fucking Dave in fucking New York, fucking a rock center. Scumbag. What about all the prisoners and all the criminals? He says, I only met four or five criminals in there and two or three of them worked for the government. Worked there. I mean, it's human warehouse. Private time. I mean, this country's grotesque. It's just like the water standing rock. You want to get all geeked up fucking about landowner rights? Fuck your house. You think you own the water underneath your house? You think you own the fucking mineral rights underneath? No, more than likely you're the fucking Queen of England knows them. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Those water rights that run through, they say, oh, we're fucking a lander. No, you don't under. Landowners do not own under the ground. That native group, the Sioux up there, own those fuck. And look, it's not, na water rights exist, they should exist, and they do, for a long, long, long time. Because you put in a fucking pipeline, people die. I know you elitists, I love it how they call them. Elitists! You're elite, I'm elite, the elitists are, fuck, they're a bunch of bleeding, inbred fucking losers. They're creeps, is what they are. They ain't elite, illuminate, they don't fucking illuminate. Oh, I illuminated the cancer out of me. I fucking illuminate the fucking room because I let the sun in. I let the light in. So they die. Those fucking pipelines run their cycle. They just abandon. They don't give a fuck. You know, even pe them people made them. They break. They fucking thing. They poison water. You know, water's the essence of fucking life. I mean, I stood in front of the White House. Again, Mary Mass March, Bear Brown. I gave the inaugural speech. Right there at Lafayette Park. I led the inaugural thing. I, led, I mean, John Anthony and myself invented this thing. You know, in the spirit of Barrett Brown, in the spirit of Aaron Swartz. These young, brilliant activists, because they're our hope. And they got guts, and they know what they're doing. We're moving in nuance, and we have. Look what activism is now compared to, say, well, compared to one I was doing that at the Reagan. Reagan, 2150 fucking, what? They're, co I mean, you, if somebody sues you, I want you to just tell the judge, I keep filing a motion to throw it out. Keep filing, then file another motion. Then I want you to file an appeal, then appeal to the appeal, then appeal to the appeal, and, just, and all the appeals said, they filed the exact same motion 44 times. It's the exact identical motion. I'll move this out of here, it's not this jurisdiction. Which has been ruled on over and over and over and over. Because, oh, I thought they were people. I thought fucking G was a person. I thought, <laughs> only when it fits them. They're a corporation when they need protection. You know, it's a scam. Fucking scam. It's outrageous. So, you know, as far as activism, moving the link, it's so over the fucking top, the collapse that's going on. There's 500 fucking steelhead in Washington and Oregon, the, the entire territory. It's a mega, you're going to see, you're going to see economic percussions to this and it'll blow your mind. So, I got to get that. Stay in tune.